Hello everybody, this is Charles. I'm back with another toy review. This time for the uh, Bandai Collector Shop Tamashi Exclusive Full Reel Ryu and Big Order Room and Key of Victory Set. Alright, so it comes with this uh, external box and of course it comes with... Uh, this is the box of the uh, Big Order Room number 3, uh, black and white box. Um, I think Tamashi uh, Nations, um, sometimes when they, they do exclusive, they like to have a black uh, color boxes, but actually I prefer if they were to have a color box for this to showcase you know, Fu Yu and uh, Ryu in uh, their respective colors. They look a lot nicer compared to this black box. I know uh, exclusive boxes tend to have off, I mean black colors, but I would prefer them to have um, uh, to be in color. So Fu Yu actually uh, in, in Chinese actually means uh, Feng Long, which is a uh, wind dragon, and uh, Rai Ryu means uh, Lei Long, which is a uh, lightning uh, dragon. All right. So without further ado, I'm just going to go to the review. And uh, before that, I just want to show that I also had the uh, anti Gruen Lagan as well. Uh, I've not decided yet whether I want to do a review on this. Uh, so uh, I'll think about it and let you guys know. All right. So here I'm just going to showcase. Uh, Furyu and oh sorry, Furyu and Rai Furyu and Rai Ryu, right? So these two uh, drone bots, right? Really cool. Uh, let me just uh, move the camera down a little, to focus on them. All right. So these bots are really cool. Uh, similar to the uh, brothers uh, Andrew and Ryu. Uh, designs are exactly the same. Only difference is the head sculpt. All right. The face is exactly, exactly the same. So difference is actually in the uh, helmet section. Okay, the top. Whereby they have the logo of the lightning, uh, they have the logo of the wind. Right, apart from that, uh, they are more or less the same in terms of the uh, body wise. Only thing is that for um, for full wheel, right, instead of having the sliding portion here, let me just show it over here with uh, Ryu. So, for Ryu, it's the same as, uh, as the Enryu and uh, Ho Ryu. Right, by this can slide, okay. But whereas for full wheel, right, it's a it's a different mode, right? It's just one uh, tap here for one one. Uh, it's a different mode basically. There's no sliding mechanism involved, uh, but all else is the same. Let me just plug this back in, okay. And there we have it. Put your side here first, and for you, I'm just gonna plug this back in. All right, let's slide it over. Okay, so before I go into the uh, review of the robots themselves, let me just uh, share what they came with. They came with this uh, big order room parts, the two chairs and one quarter of the big order room. It's exactly the same as what you get from uh, Enryu and Ryu set, big order room number two. So I'm not going to uh, open this or, or assemble it this time round. Uh, I will assemble the whole big order room when the mic sounder set come out. So. I will be showing this because basically it's the same. If you want to see how this thing looks like, please go to my uh, review on uh, Enryu on uh, Horyu and Ryu. All right. And of course, it comes with uh, some accessories, uh, mainly the faces. So it comes with both of them comes with uh, another shouting face as well as uh, two pairs of uh, fists, open fists, and uh, fists for holding weapons. Basically, it's exactly the same. All right, it's exactly the same. And uh, Ryu comes with this uh, gun as well, which I am not going to uh, take out. And most importantly, this thing is really awesome. This is the key of victory. Surely no kagi. Surely no kagi. The key of victory is made of complete die cast. This is really solid. It's a solid die cast molded key. And it's really, really nice. It's really heavy. It's really, really awesome. So I can really imagine when the uh, big order set is ready, I'll actually use this use this key and say, uh, what? Surely no kagi And then you can just insert the key and probably twist something and some, some mechanism will trigger or something like that. So it's really, really awesome. This key is going to be used when the big order room is completely, is complete. Um, as per what we see here, see? Over here in the picture, when the big order room is here, you can slot this key in. And I believe with a twist, you can probably have the radar, uh, the screen panels uh, move up or something like that. So it's really going to be awesome. Right, so I'm really looking forward to use this key. And this key is uh, 
one is one scale which is the uh, same size as, as what you will see in the anime so it's really cool i mean as a as a gaugai girl fan i'm really really excited i really love this key in fact i love this key more than i love the figures this i would you know it may sound crazy man i would just get it get this exclusive uh, for the sake of this key because it's really awesome it's die cast it's really really solid and it's really well made it really feels that you know i have i'm in control you know you know Especially, I mean, if you watch Gal Gal Gal, you know, this key is so important. It's a key that um, that they uh, actually use to approve of the final fusion. So it's really, really cool. This key is really significant, you know. And uh, it has the name of um, Nei Ge Zhong Li Da Jia. I don't know, the internal, the internal political minister something like that the wording so you can't okay I, you can't see it over here because my camera doesn't have a good resolution but it says uh japan government um inner cabinet uh prime minister uh shodi uh, approval so basically this is a key that has um, some political leaders approval before you can actually use it but oh well it's really cool i really love this key i could go on more and more on this key but let's go on with the review <laughs> all right so um just to demonstrate uh, in terms of articulation okay in terms of die cast content why well, it's the same as Furu and Ryu the die cast content is actually in the uh, shoulder joints all right this shoulder pin here that actually pins the uh, arms together this elbow joint and then when we move down here uh, let me just flip this up a little bit um the waist okay internal of the waist is also die cast as well and this leg portion the thigh is die cast knees are die cast this whole leg portion downwards all die cast um makes the robot have a very very heavy feel uh head wise you know rotation neck front back sideways 360 head rotation elbows can bend all the way 90 degrees up sideways you can actually shift this uh shoulder sideways to have more angle of rotation all right over the side uh under the shoulder pad here 360 rotation over here double jointed elbows all right uh 360 rotation for the wrist uh for the upper torso okay you can actually shift them see this upper torso can actually shift so there's a mid section there's the upper torso and the lower uh body so this is waist the mid section and the upper torso so upper torso has its own articulation slightly front and back okay but mostly on sideways and you can also twist the waist all right in terms of the um the uh, legs wise okay let me just flip the skirts up the <coughs> i'm sorry the legs are exactly the same as cho yujin and uh and uh Kiki yujin and it works for this too because this is the amount of articulation have you can really spread the legs completely outwards all right this is really awesome and also uh in terms of mac movement you can move this much all right in terms of front movement you can actually kick all the way 90 degrees upwards which is really really amazing and over here you can also rotate uh the thighs if required all right and you have a uh, clicky knees okay the lower part is clicky the upper part is not uh, but double jointed knees so they can easily do a uh, kneeling pose as well the um, trademark i must do this in my video yes kneeling pose i must do this and of course this kneeling pose really really well so you have really a wide range of um of articulation for this guy uh in terms of the legs wise the feet uh, are not as articulated but you, actually, you can actually uh you can actually uh, rotate it, uh, you can actually move it front back, okay, and you can actually shift it slightly downwards to the left and right. Uh, toes are very, very tight. You can actually move the toes downwards, okay, see, and you can actually move them upwards. So it's really, really, really tight, you know, super tight, all right. And so for full Ryu, <coughs> excuse me, I'm suffering from a cough right now. Let me just uh, get uh, everything in. His uh, feature is this. Um, hurricane missile barrel thingy so what you do is uh, you rotate this you move this up open this and shift this down so this is his uh, missile attack from his uh, hurricane so this can move this much all right and this is it all right and for right view articulation is exactly the same uh, in terms of this board doesn't do anything it doesn't have any purpose over here i think he flies if I didn't recall wrong, he sort of flies with this thing this way and he also treats this as a, as a sort of surfboard thingy that you can stand on uh, in the show uh, unfortunately this is a little small you know, for him it's a little small but um, still nice 
and (uh) that's about the features we have and of course (uh) let's compare them with (uh) the combined form of (uh) #gekki# #ryujin# let me just (uh) give him okay first okay very particular by robots I I don't like them looking clumsy or flimsy so they need to look decent at least standing decently okay cool so here is a uh, #gekki# #ryujin# combined form we just uh, move them slightly to the back do some size comparison all right so as you can see uh Gekki Ryujin is a combined form of Furyu and Raiyu um, but of course uh, it seems that uh, Furyu and Raiyu themselves individually they are bigger than Gekki Ryujin right it seems that they are bigger than Gekki Ryujin um, which is a little bit not accurate per se but um, you know uh, I guess in terms of size wise they Bandai did their best to make uh, make sense of it um, but you can see as well that the barrel uh, for this Geki Ryujin is bigger than the one for Furyu likewise the shovel no what you call it the uh, I can't remember what it's called this part is bigger than this as well and of course the most uh, obvious difference you see is the color Geki Ryujin is in a metallic shade of green and uh, yellow which is really really nice or rather green and gold which is really nice compared to Furyu and Ryu who are actually in a uh, uh, more like uh, matte green and uh, matte yellow which is very close to a the animation colors so yes and um, hmm, I was just I thought it just crossed my mind whether Bandai will issue a anime color accurate Kiki Ryujin and Cho Ryujin as exclusives um, your guess is as good as mine they might or might not do it but I can tell you for sure again that if you do not have this this uh, set Kiki Ryujin and Fuyu Ryu uh, it's gonna cost you a lot because these are Tamashi exclusives they are made to order which means that if you don't get them now they're gonna get rarer and rarer and rarer in the market and it's gonna get more expensive that's what I can tell you alright so anyway here I'm just gonna bring you to um, Fururyu and their brothers uh, Horyu and Enryu so here you see the uh, four brothers really cool really nice I mean the color tone everything just fits in really really nice I simply love them this is really nice I mean in terms of die cost content they are heavy in terms of articulation they have it there in terms of uh, anime accuracy possibility articulation um, playability play factor everything they have all there so I am really really pleased with this set you know uh, despite the fact that though know, this four are secondary characters in the Gao Geiger animation uh, but they are really well made. You know, they are extremely well made, and I I simply love them. They are so nice. You know, I really really love them. Of course, the combined form, uh, is really cool as well. Let me just put him here. Uh, and throw Eugene. Let me see if I can pull it back a little. Hmm. Pull you guys to the background a little bit more so I can showcase everybody. I have everybody in the screen. Okay, I, I almost have. Okay, I almost have everybody in the screen. All right. Just shift you in a little bit more. Squeeze, gentlemen. Squeeze. All right. Squeeze a little bit more, and I have all of you inside the screen. So, this is really an impressive uh, view to me. You know, I really love this, and I'm really happy to to review this set because this is really fun, and especially for me as a Gao Geiger fan. This is uh, it's, it's been a, a joy, an absolute joy reviewing. You know, I simply love them. And I'm gonna bring the key back again. Shodi no Kagida! Shodi no Kagida! I'm gonna bring the key in here. Now, this key is so significant. It's such a trademark. Oh man, I'm so happy that they have this key in the set. Alright. Um, so, alright, okay, enough of my, uh, my, my fandom, my, my, my my insane um, passion for the key and this set so uh, here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review I hope you guys have enjoyed do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time and if I could say it one more time FINAL FUSION